ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 22nd of January. A cold rain falling on parts of the state this morning. Let's check it out with the Skycam Network. There's one spot where a cold rain is falling. Downtown Jasper up in Walker County. That's the view coming from the uh, King Building there. Temperatures are hovering in the mid-30s with rain coming down. Uh, Tuscaloosa, so far, the rain has not reached there yet. It will soon. This is not going to be a big rain event today. And over on the eastern side of the state, look what's still on the ground. Wow, that's the view coming from Mount Cheeha. And, yep, that's snow out there. And uh, we figure a lot of that will be melting away as the uh, day progresses and the rain falls. There's our water vapor satellite shot this morning. You can see the uh, wave uh, uh, north of here extending to the south, producing the raindrops across the state this morning. And the active southern stream in place, making for a uh, uh, changeable forecast in coming days. There's the radar as of 5.03, the insane hour in which I'm doing this update uh, uh, the rain at that point uh, really along and north of Interstate 59, but most everybody should see at least some rain today. There's the larger perspective. Now, as that rain moves into the uh, northeastern part of the state, there will be a little bit of evaporative cooling, and there could be a few spots of freezing rain, mainly over Jackson, DeKalb, and Cherokee counties up there in that far northeastern part of the state, but any bridge icing should be limited, and again, for most folks, it's just going to be a cold, rainy day today. Don't expect a lot of rain with this. Uh, this is the expected rain valid through Saturday evening. And uh, this would suggest maybe about a half inch of rain today. And there's some school of thought now that that rain might kind of hang around tomorrow, as you'll see in the model output. This is where we are today. Uh, upper trough mainly north of us with the extension down to the south. And there's a look at the rain shield running all the way from uh, uh, the Great Lakes down into the deep south. And... So, again, today's pretty clear-cut periods of rain. But look at tomorrow now. All of a sudden, the GFS is throwing a new wrench in here, uh, keeping rain in place over the central part of the state tomorrow. And that might be a valid idea. We've got a very disturbed southern stream, and uh, that might be plausible. We're not going to change the forecast just yet. This is the 06 run of the GFS. Let's get the 12Z run in the house for the moment. We don't have rain in our public forecast tomorrow. But obviously, if this keeps up, we'll have to bring it back. And the one thing we'll promise, it's going to get cold on Thursday, even colder. It's pretty cold today. The upper trough sharpens over the east, and at the surface, here comes a shot of cold air. It's going to be a windy and cold day with uh, temperatures struggling to reach 40. And wind chill readings will stay below freezing much of the day, even with the sky becoming mostly sunny. And Friday morning, that surface high should be right over us, so it should be pretty cold. We're talking Readings around 20 with teens likely for the valleys. So frigid weather Thursday into Friday morning. Then we'll start to moderate Friday afternoon as the surface high moves on to the east. And then for the weekend, a warm-up is the headline and probably some raindrops as well. We've got a, a trough digging down into the southwest United States. Down below that, we've got a boundary. almost looks like a warm front moving up to Interstate 20. And that would suggest rain on Saturday, uh, mainly along and north of that boundary, north of Interstate 20, while the southern half of the state warms up with no rain. And then Sunday, pretty much the same deal. A chance we'll get up in the 60s, mid-60s on Sunday. That'll be a big warm-up. But the chance of showers, I don't think the weekend's going to be a washout. Uh, in fact, it could be the better rain day will be Saturday, and if that boundary shifts north, we could be just kind of cloudy and, and mild on Sunday. And then Monday of next week, the GFS kind of uh, shows a little band of showers down to the south, but uh, not much rain. And then Tuesday, still we're wet. Uh, we're going to be right in this uh, uh, favored jet stream zone of lift, and that would suggest a chance of showers really of some degree Saturday through Tuesday. Perhaps this run suggesting the better rain opportunities would be Saturday and then again Tuesday. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that. But the mild and unsettled seems to be the story. Now, as we get into February, a lot of questions about these uh, active waves, and the GFS is now showing two of them. This is one on the first of the month, and that looks wet with a possible change to snow on the backside. But that, of course, doesn't look like a favored position for a big snowstorm here. That would be mostly rain. But then we go out to the 
fourth. A very similar system coming in here. Big trough and, again, a surface low in almost the exact same place with rain changing to snow on the backside. So now the GFS putting two big uh, systems on the board out there, and we'll sure take that rain. Now, neither one of these in a favored position for a big snow event like we've seen, but just keep in mind that will change again. This is out there in voodoo country beyond seven days. Not much uh, ability for us to forecast anything specifically. And then at the end of the forecast period on the 6th, a big trough out west with the colder air out there, and that looks uh, relatively mild. So changeable weather seems to be the story, but certainly we'll take those frequent storm systems that are depicting here. I think the one screaming message is that we will have multiple opportunities for some uh, rain or precipitation in here for the next 15 to 16 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.